Valley of Vision. This one is called Love to Jesus. Lord Jesus, if I love thee, my soul shall seek thee. Oh, A.W. Tozer said it best when he said, the evidence of true love is having found him, or the paradox of true love is having found him to continue to seek him. Seeking the Lord is evidence of complacency, satisfaction with him, and love enjoyment of him. So, if I love thee, my soul shall seek thee. But can I seek thee unless my love to thee is kept alive to this end? Do I love thee because thou art good and canst alone do me good? It is fitting thou shouldst not regard me, for I am vile and selfish, yet I seek thee. And when I find thee, there is no wrath to devour me, but only sweet love. He's drawing the parallel between what he knows he is apart from God and finding deliverance and love in the midst of seeking the Lord. Thou dost stand as a rock between the scorching sun and my soul. That's the gospel. He stands between the scorching sun of the sky and his soul. And I live under the cool lee side as one elect, living hidden in Christ, as Colossians Three says we are hidden in him thou dost stand there but it says when my mind acts without thee when my mind acts without thee it spins nothing but deceit and delusion Jesus said apart from me you can do nothing I find that without my mind dipped in his presence my heart dipped in his presence my will dipped in his presence it is vile without him apart from him there is no good whatsoever but to cling to him in mind in heart and in will we find bliss upon bliss when my mind acts without thee it spins nothing but deceit and delusion he says when my affections act without thee nothing is seen but dead works <laughs> only christ's presence can quicken the affections Oh, how I need thee to abide in me, for I have no natural eyes to see thee. Man, it takes the Holy Ghost to see Jesus. Once again, we're brought to bare dependency. God, I can't even want you without you. I can't even see you without you. I have no eyes to see you. So I cast myself upon your great gospel, which is you reaching for me. Oh, how I need thee to abide in me, for I have no natural eyes to see thee. But I live by faith in one whose face to me is brighter than a thousand suns. Praise God. We live in the presence of Christ. When I see that all sin is in me, all shame belongs to me, let me know that all good is in thee. Again, gospel dispositions. It is the maturity of a Christian life to live in gospel dispositions. What are those? It is this. I see all sin is in me. All shame belongs to me. Let me know that all good is in thee. I am insufficient. You are all sufficient. He says, all glory then is thine. Keep me from the error of thinking thou dost appear gloriously when some strange light fills my heart, as if that were the glorious activity of grace. But let me see that the truest revelation of thyself is when thou dost eclipse all my personal glory in all the honor, pleasure, and good of this world. <clears throat> he seems to be trying to destroy the self-interested love. I remember Charles Finney once wrote of disinterested love and the phrase itself, I didn't understand it, but it's a love that wants him for him and not him because. Though there are wonderful things that he is to the soul and we benefit greatly, supremely, and we benefit completely Yet the motive is him for him alone, that our own personal glory, our own honor and pleasure and good of this world is eclipsed in the true revelation of himself. 
the sun breaks out in glory when he shows himself as one who outshines all creation, all pleasures, all desires, all expectations, all the things that we can gain from God, all even answers to prayer. He eclipses, he outshines all of the things God can even do. <laughs> That's the gospel, seeing the beauty of Jesus. It makes men poor in spirit, when we see Jesus this way, we realize that we are poor in spirit. We have nothing but a ability to throw ourselves on him and helps them to find their good in him. And here's the last line, grant that I may distrust myself to see my all in thee. That again is a gospel disposition. Not to trust ourselves, not to put hope and dependence and confidence in ourselves, even our own activities, even our own religious duties, even our own goods. We don't put trust in them so that we might see all in Him. I would venture to say, to the degree we put trust in ourselves, we can't see Christ rightly. So what an amazing ride up here, love to Jesus. And this love to Jesus seems like it is scraping the bottom of the soul, saying, God, I have searched my own heart and realized its bankruptcy, and I am greatly, direly, deathly in need of you. But the good thing is, is you are all to me, and you eclipse everything else, and you outshine all the others. Oh, if I love thee, my soul shall seek thee. We seek him out of a great revelation of who he is and also a great understanding of our need. This is gospel. Praise God. Uh, I want to invite you on Tuesday nights at 7 p.m. We meet together online through Zoom. Um, and it has been an, uh, it's just been an amazing time, wonderful, sweet presence, time of lingering, looking at the scriptures even together, answering questions. We've had a couple of guests out, which has been great. Also times of worship. So if you want to join us, I'll put a link down below. God bless you guys.